Well, this is a monkey, monkey, monkey butt. And it's, I find it quite weird how we, all, we often anthropomorphize. If you don't want to anthropomorphize it, we put human characteristics. Right? So I find it quite strange how we often make monkeys always the butlers. But it's quite a fitting, really. Because if you want to think about it, we're always coming across as cats as some sort of, you know, affectionate, loving thing. But really, cats are not. Cats! Wait for them. <laughs> are probably the affectionate prostitutes of the world. And they come to you, they come to you, and they're like, they know, they know when they want love. Because they, they're always needy. They're needy creatures of wanting love. But when you go to them for love, if they instantly turn your back and you just go, I don't want to love now. I'm free and single. I'm like the cat of the world. <laughs> and then we come to dogs, and it's out from wonder. Dogs and cats living together. Do you think that in that life, that dogs and wild cats might mind fuck with the dogs? It's like, hey, Scooby, Scooby, you mad best friend? I sure am. Really? You sure? I sure am. And the cat goes, okay, what happened to you, balls, though? <laughs> it frantically looks around. But it makes me wonder how many times we like neuter, like cats and animals, and just go, when they're at home, you leave them at home every single day, and they're just like, right, what can I, what can I destroy? That nice new sofa is looking uh, quite scratchable. <laughs> So, 